Today has been a very weird day for me because I spent a large amount of my day at work today just kind of daydreaming about living out in the country. Um, I don't remember what sparked me to go on Zillow and look at houses, their pricing in Darby, Montana. And I chose Darby because that is where they are filming Yellowstone, the show that Kevin Costner is doing. But I looked at some houses there and I saw this one house that I really, really loved. It's like 299,000, one acre, and it had like the most beautiful views surrounding it. Plenty of green grass, flat land. It was just beautiful and the house itself was pretty nice. I liked everything about it. So the thing is I spent so much of my day today just focusing so hard on what I wanted, which is working remotely and hopefully moving somewhere far out where there would be much less people. I feel like me thinking about that for so long today really uh, maybe made me more sensitive when I got home because today during our walk, I got home at like 6.30 and Dota was starting at seven. So I just wanted to take her out for a nice quick walk. And I just really wanted us to go on a walk where I could try my best to avoid other people and also try to avoid the streets where I know that there are barking dogs. So today was maybe just kind of random and unfortunate because I went on a route that is not really one I've gone frequently. So it's not one that I'm super familiar with, like what type of people are on that street. But I walked by this house and this woman and her husband were standing near their garage. She started talking to me or called out to me in a way that made me feel like I needed to stop. And they started approaching me. And basically when someone starts doing that, I always know what they want because they want to touch Riley. And the thing is, I feel like sometimes when I talk about this topic, people don't understand why I dislike it so much. I dislike it because in my perspective, I feel like them and their body language is already very disrespectful to you because they are approaching you with a selfish goal in mind and them approaching you in that manner to me feels like they are disrespectful about what you possibly might want which is not to have them interact with your dog so she starts approaching me and then once she starts reaching a point where i just didn't feel comfortable staying where i was because that means that she'd be getting too close i started walking away and then she was like oh stop wait can i pet your dog and I said, no, I'd rather you not. And she pretty much made up a reason for me. She was like, oh, is your dog scared or something? And I was like, oh yeah, she's totally scared. For these people, it just doesn't make sense for you to straight up say, no, I just don't want you to touch my dog. Because 90% of these people can't fathom that you don't want people molesting the shit out of your dog. It bugs the crap out of me that there are so many people in this world that have that mentality. There are so many young people too that I know that are like, oh, my goal in life is to pet every dog. I'm like, no, fuck off. You can't touch mine. And that is such a disrespectful view to have. But people have that view because half the pet owners are fucking idiots themselves. After that experience with that woman, I walked down the street further and then these two guys at their garage, they were sitting there. They also talked to me about how pretty she was, asking her name, asking her breed, saying how she looks like she just got out of the groomers. It's like, those guys weren't being disrespectful, but you know, I just desperately want to not be bothered when I'm out in public. And I feel like in this point in time in my life, I have, run out of patience completely whenever it comes to Riley. I don't want to be polite at all anymore. I just want to be rude because I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to tell you what her name is because you knowing her name doesn't benefit your life whatsoever. So it's useless for me to be telling you what her name is and stuff. I just 
expect every interaction that relates to her to be negative that it's so tough every time i'm out in public i just sometimes feel so angry internally it doesn't even have to be a person when i walk down a street and you know for 15 full seconds i have this stupid dog barking through a fence at me angrily it's just annoying to deal with stuff like that and then i have to deal with people forcing themselves on me whenever they want to talk or they try to touch her it just really really gets tiring having this guard up whenever i'm out with her but i need to because there's so many shitty people in the world that disrespect you because of what they want i feel like that's just what people need to realize about this entire situation that i'm talking about if somebody starts walking up to you with a certain goal in mind and they don't think about what you might think about it and they don't think about how you might feel about it that to me is already something that i would view as a negative start to your interaction so the issue that i'm having lately is that i feel like i'm just very fearful maybe i must be somehow i don't know where i got it from but in a lot of cases where i want to be really really dismissive or rude to somebody i usually tend to not because i get afraid that the other person is going to start being verbally abusive or maybe even physically abusive so for example in a lot of these cases ideally i would just ignore them and keep walking or i would say like oh no i'm not interested in having a conversation or i would say something along those lines and i would keep walking and never stop walking and at times i wouldn't do that because i would be worried that this interaction will somehow get really really negative if the other person is unstable and might just take huge offense to me not wanting to interact with them so i ordered pepper spray last week because i'm going to utah next month and it would be nice to have it for that but i am starting to think that even though i might not always need it it will make me feel safer if i carry it on my walks and if i carry it on my hip or somewhere out visible then maybe it'll dissuade people from talking to me because they're gonna think i'm some crazy woman carrying pepper spray and maybe use it on them or something so I don't really know how much longer I can really handle being this close to civilization because I hate how people are so willing to not care about your feelings. It's so fucked up. I just desperately want to move out to the country and be remote because I don't want to see people unless I choose to and I just want to keep to myself. I think that's one of the worst parts about society right now. If you have a personality like mine where you never impose yourself on somebody else, where you just want to keep to yourself when you're in public, you can't do that because other people will force themselves on you. It's just like, what the fuck? I never do anything to somebody else. I don't disrespect other people. I don't really even bother other people in any way. And then you just don't get the same respect in return. 